Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Sarah is Missing. This is a free indie horror game available both on Itch.io for the PC and on Android phones, I think. It's in the App Store, something like that. Uh, it's free, and it I've heard it's pretty good. And everything takes place within this uh, phone screen. So it's actually like you're on a phone. Look at that. Ooh. Anyway, I've heard good things. It's basically a found footage horror game. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. It's 9.24 p.m. Sunday, May 1st, 2016. System failure. Your device ran into a problem and needs to be reset. Do you want to restore your device into an earlier time? No. Okay. Fine. I guess I have to do that. Okay, it's the same time and date. I wanted to see if it changed. Restoring Iris. What's Iris? Restoring messages. Sorry, what? Welcome back, Sarah. Oh, this is cool. This phone appears to be damaged, and you don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? Um, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, who is Sarah? Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Please return it to her. Let's view it. Nice. F 51 of 64. What else? Oh, we can't look at the other photos. It's fine. Um, okay. So... But she's not here. So I think the premise of the game is that you just find this phone on the ground somewhere. Based on your response, I assume she's not with you. Uh, you would assume correctly. Uh, I don't even know her. It seems that the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? I guess. You're a really advanced AI. I'll say, yeah, sure. Let's see what you got. Sounds like a challenge. Oh, this is cool. I hear footsteps. <laughs> That's it, huh? Have any of you guys seen Unfriended? The the horror film? Kinda reminds me of this so far. Um, this is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. Intentionally damaged. Um, how much can you fix? Not my problem. Only 14% of the device is operational. Well, that sucks. I think Sarah is in trouble. Okay, uh, Sarah looks like she needs help. Based on the name of the game, Sarah is missing. I assume that this is what we would be doing. Yes, it, it would appear to be so. I am this mobile, uh, intelligent, rec recognitive, iconolatry system, Iris. Wow, that second eye is a doozy. It is in my best interest and in your good conscience to locate her immediately. All right, I, I'm kind of freaked out by how advanced you are. Uh, like, move over, Siri. Oh, Iris, Siri. Pfft. Uh, why do you want to help find Sarah? Yeah, hey, why do you care? Why do you care? Huh? What, what's in it for you? She is my owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. Hmm. You sound human. Yes. Okay, are you Sarah? I want. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, sure, yes. I'll help you, because otherwise I think we could just close out the phone and the game would be over. I need to restore as much of the contents in this phone as I'm able to. Wow, okay, shit, hang on. Press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Okay. I guess I'm done talking to you. I believe I can recover some of the, this phone's data. Okay. Well, let's do it. 
Yeah, restore it. Sure. Check it out. Let's see what happens. Um, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone to ask me for help with anything. Okay. If it's something out of my capabilities, I'll let you know with a beep. Oh, you restored some messages. This is actually really neat. Oh, we get to be a snoop. And we get to, like, peruse her personal stuff. I know I wouldn't want anyone looking through my phone, shit. Not that there's anything, like, bad on there, it's just embarrassing. I don't want to see the ten different, you know, takes that I did of, like, my dinner, you know, being overanalyzed. Okay, let's go to messages. Let's just start there. Um... Alright, what date are these from? Shit. Uh, this was created by a team of seven, basically, like four for development, three for the story and writing, and then there were cast members and there was a crew that actually shot the videos and stuff, so, um, really more than seven, sorry about that. Do I have to charge the phone at any point? We got 23%. Okay, uh, so this is the 20th of April. What are you up to this weekend? Swamped with my work, actually. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really up for it. But it's sort of your thing, too. What do you mean? It's Walpurgis Snatched? Walpurgis Snatched. Isn't that the witch's fest? How is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey. I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all this supernatural stuff too. Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall from one of your coven initiations again, Beth. Aw, oh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween hello? I don't know, Beth. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. Sorry, I know, I know I made both of their voices sound identical. Um, Alright, so Faith is into witchcraft, apparently. That's the best picture we could get of her. She's offline. Hmm. Oh, so this is back in February. Valentine's Day. Hi, Mom. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I have decided to end things. Things were not working out, so... But I'm okay. Sorry to hear that, Sarah, but I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up from the airport. Right. Well, Mom, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? Where is she? In February. I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home now, just, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You get on the phone and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen, Sarah, you come home this intent. I will get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no, I'm not coming home, and that's final. At least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see you when I get back, okay? Man, if I said this to my mom, she would she would call me right about the 335 mark. Apparently when I said I've decided to stay, yeah. Uh, and there would be no text history of that conversation. Hi, Mom. Just to let you know, I've touched down, walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry I couldn't send you a text. I've got to go into a meeting now. The driver is waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. We'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. So she came home a week later. Okay. Uh, so this is the next day. Sarah, I've scheduled for you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency, at noon tomorrow. I used to work at an ad agency. I used to work at a bunch of them, actually. Don't embarrass me. Mom, I have a seminar to go to, and we've talked about this already. I'm not changing my major, and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. I was a copywriter before I did this YouTube thing. I was... That's what I did. For, for three years. Huh. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. What's wrong with being a copywriter? It's a, it was a fun job, for the most part. I mean, every job has its ups and downs. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts of all things over possibly working in a top agency? I will say this, advertising people can get really intense about it, just like her mom is doing. I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for far too long. I only want to help you build a promising career. Well... 
be better luck outside of advertising, am I right? Only ad people will get that joke. Uh, not throw it all away just to be a ghost hunter. Mom, first of all, stop calling it ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. Her mom's a copywriter. Hopefully she's a senior copywriter by now. Or at least an ACD. Associate Creative Director, sorry. And I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. You know, the only reason why you can go on and do all your nonsense is because I allow it. Wow, this is a long rant here. I'm trying to make sure you have a future. At the very least, a good paying job. Or a job that pays anything. Well, shit. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only th reason you can do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying for all your expenses. You live a pretty comfortable life and a spoilt one at that. I've given you nothing but the best and all I've asked from you is that you go for this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it if you become like him. Shit! Okay, mom. Going in for a meeting. I'll be home early today. You will have dinner at home. We will talk further on this. Okay. Her mom, you know, for her mom being a copywriter at an ad agency, she's real, she's real stiff. Hmm. I'd say like 95% of the copywriters I've met, and I've met a bunch, have been pretty laid back, creative, like tolerant, open-minded people. Ah, uh, she does not seem that way. Like basically, most of the most of the creatives that I met in advertising, like they were creative types. They were artists. They were you know uh, people that were just uh, they had a corporate job. You know it was a little different, <clears throat> but they had the same attitude. You know, they just wanted to make cool shit. Anyway, <sighs> then again, there were the creative driven, like a uh, career driven ones. So anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get off that. It's just I had to comment on it because I had experience in that field. So this is Derek. Hey, you there? What do you want? Oh, we know how this is going to end because we read the conversation with mom. Nothing. I just, I'm about to board. Why should I care? Oh, okay, so I guess they already broke up. Well, that's one of the probs, ain't it? You barely care. <laughs> Did you text me to tell me that? You're such an asshole. Look, I didn't mean, I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. <sighs> I'm trying to tell you that this is not how I plan things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls, naked or not, they are not my our problems. It's me and you and you're the one that keeps avoiding this shit. Shifting problems here and there. Derek's texting is, is annoying the fuck out of me. Just, it's it's two more letters to write out you. I'm just saying it's not that much, not that much effort. How about, I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. If you have nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I fucking celebrate it, but it's Valentine's fucking Tines Day. Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women? On Valentine's fucking Tines. Jesus. And not have the balls to tell me about it, you lying piece of shit. Not telling you something is not the same as lying. I told you. It's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. Right, he called her babe. I'm officially done with this guy. You want to play technicality with me now? Are you fucking serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that, at least. That's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get back to our chalet. Or chalet? How do you pronounce it? I don't fucking care. I don't I don't care how you pronounce it. R. Sorry. My mistake. It's my chalet now. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a nice fucking flight. Sarah, baby. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm Borden now. 
Take care. Sorry. Bye. Hey, how are you? Been a while. Hey, baby, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry. I miss you. Ooh, he spelled out you. He's... He's learning. What are you up to? Sarah, talk to me, please. All right, so this is several months later. Baby. Why would you text your ex-girlfriend of two and a half months, baby, dot, 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 at near midnight? We all know what that's about. You fucking... Ugh, I hate... I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. Just block his number. Just block his number. You should have blocked his number on, like, March 3rd, honestly, if you didn't want to talk to him anymore. Whatever. This is kind of rough to get through so far. It's just her fighting with everybody. Okay, 20 cent. We're, if you're wondering, is John going to read through all the texts? Damn straight I'm going to read through all of them. Um... I know that some of you are, like, skipping around the video right now looking for jump scares. Well, oh well. Okay, so this is, uh, 27th of April. Hey, bootylicious! You okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me in some abs at the club. What? Sorry, babe. Got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, 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 abs, like Tarzan. That was, that was worth the wait. Yeah, you really drew that out for good reason. Sorry, you know I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys but some other time. It's ladies night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama. You know how them ice cream melts down abs. Tempting, but I'm gonna pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but hmm, chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. Celebrating freedom. You need a light you need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you though, I'll have one on your behalf. I've had so many conversations like this, minus the abs and the ice cream. But just like people being like, Oh, let let's go out. Let's go out. You need to go out. It's like I I really don't though. I don't. Most of the time I do. I cave. Thanks. I will catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it. Watch your calories. Ha 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 ha. Batch, batch. You know they love my love handles. Them puppies wild, mama. Cry laugh emoji. Oh, oh, no. Just everything about this. Everything about this 7, 12 p.m. text just makes me nauseous. Ugh. Everything from the cry laugh emoji to the batch, batch to the them puppies wild mama just okay so this is so april 27th this is four days later hey where have you been why didn't you reply me i texted you last night um i don't have record of that hmm i heard you went out with faith last night betch why didn't you call me oh oh this is 1 a.m i thought it was 1 p.m okay so she's referring to this where have you been? It's been four days. <sighs> All right. Might have been three days. I'm not sure how many days there are in April offhand. 30? Yeah. All right, okay. Why didn't you call me? I'm always the last. Oh, no. What the fuck? Let's get coffee. I've got news. I met someone last night at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me, Kay. Hey, Sarah, I'm worried. You've been MIA. You're not normally like this. This is all within the span of like four hours. Give her a chance to breathe. Wow. Okay. Buddy. Who's Buddy? The rebound? Must be the rebound. So this is two weeks later. So how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? <sighs> Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? <laughs> wow. Just skipping right into it. Sorry to hear that. Nah. Tell someone who gives a shit. Anyway, you want to hang out? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What is it about? Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing a research on the relativity, the relativity, sorry, of ghost to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. By the way, are you into butt stuff? That's a great segue. I like how we waited two minutes before sending that last one. I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No problem. Poke you later. That's not the that phrasing. Okay. Nice weather today. This is a month later. Could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. 
Can I send you some pics? Hmm, I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. It's of my penis. Yes, I figured. It's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to sit on it? Nope. Can I see it? Would you like to sit? Who the fuck talks like this? You want, hey, hey, hey girl, you want to sit on my dick? Who, who talks like that? All right, whatever. I don't know what their history is. Maybe there's like reason for him to be saying like that. Maybe like she was into that. Yeah, like, eh, fucking, eh. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. I meant your tits. I bet you have nice tits. Oh, so they haven't even met in person. I bet you have. Oh my God, this is like, every time one of my um, friends who's a girl uh, posts like a pic of their like Tinder private message conversations, I'm always just like, oh my God, dudes like this exist. Anyway, I do actually. Can I see them? Nope. Bend over for me. No thank, just block him. Sorry, I'm just bored. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, fun there. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you, really. Lucky me, huh? Just block him! Why do you have him on your freaking friends list? He texts you once a month on the 30th. That's interesting. Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, it's been a while since I had them, though. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head and you can see these nuts. Wow. Okay, buddy. That was actually funny. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. Who the fuck is this guy? He, looks, he even looks creepy in his picture. All right. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done through the text. That's the meat of the content that we've uncovered on the phone. We can go through the rest, you know, later. Urgh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. This is Mar 4th of March. It's talking about Derek, I assume. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Something crazy. I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research on the paranormal. I don't know. I guess you're right. You are the genius in our batch. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Thanks, Jill, for your infinite wisdom. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Oh, like Buddy. But she was texting him prior to this. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend, buddy, I guess. I don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you're joking. Ha ha. But put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A party might not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. Here's John's recommendation. Stay home, play video games. Ha ha. You don't need to interact with other people if you don't want to. I don't know. Just try. Okay, fine. Fine. I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. No problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my specialty. What, you keeping you keeping a, a log of how many favors she owes you, Jill? Fuck off. Ha, huh, very funny. You'll be alright. I know, I know. So this is a couple weeks later. Hey, have a safe flight. This is the first time we've seen her initiate a conversation with someone. Other than... I think her mom. Have a safe flight, good luck, and hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks, I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you, don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow I think you'll find a cure for it. <laughs> I just might. Take care, you. Okay. Save lots of lives. Huh, look at her picture. Okay, so this is late April. Coffee, oh, oh, 1800. Yeah, sure, but let's make it 6.30 p.m. 18.30 it is. Just say 6.30 p.m. Shit. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go. Later's jam. So, this is a, this is the only time they've texted. All right. Uni group. Chat unavailable. All right, guys. Well, we, we officially read through the entirety of her text. I feel really... Intrusive. What, Iris? As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's content are available. Hmm. Uh, beware of emails with strange attachments. There's a chain mail going around, and I strongly advise you do not read it, and most importantly, do not open the attachment. It can come in any shape and form, but always with a particular video attachment. It is said that whoever watches the video will bring upon a bad omen, so this is kind of like the ring. 
Uh, the sender will also encourage you send the video to people you know. If you're seeing such content, please delete them from your phone. Only you can prevent the spread of malicious content on the web. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and go to the... This app has stopped working. Hey, so... Let's see, um... Well, if I need help... Really? Okay, so I gotta tap and hold on it. Yeah, that doesn't work. What? Yeah, her birthday sure is, uh, Valentine's Day. Isn't that this phone? Huh. Yeah. Click on anything that looks suspicious. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, let's see. Favorites. Oh, okay. Uh, recent. Who's the last person that called her? The last person that called her was April 30th. And that was Aya. Also, Derek on April 30th. Interesting. She, is, she didn't have a lot of activity. That's the first thing I've been able to click on. All purge snatch. Curious. Uh, what is the well, purge snatched? Uh, it's one of the Dutch and German names for the night of the 30th of April. Ah, uh, that's when everything went to shit. So called because the eve of the feast day of Saint Walpurgia, an 8th century. Well, I didn't get to read that. It's believed to be the night of a witch's meeting. Why would Sarah be involved in this? Based on the text history, it appears that Faith is a practicing Wiccan. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, what, yeah, what does Sarah believe in? Sarah believes in finding the truth. Okay, well, I won't comment on that. Ah, that's it. Well, shit. Um, I guess we gotta click on some more... Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Okay, here we go. Sarah's actions, it's unusual. Uh, okay, why is that? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life. Mm -hmm. I can simulate and deduce that her actions or inactions in this situation does not match her past behavior. You are very advanced. Um, what is Sarah like usually? Her recent behavior shows that she is suffering from abrupt and apparently unaccountable change of moods. Hmm. Possibly due to her relationship issue. Well, it's been a couple months. But I'm no doctor. You're freaky, Iris. Wait, what? 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 What'd you, what'd you say? I think there might be more clues. I thought. I thought she's gonna be like. I think you're pretty freaky yourself. I think there's. Uh, there might be more clues to her whereabouts. You misspelled whereabouts. Wow. If we can look through her pictures, there's an error with the gallery. Would you kindly tap and hold on the gallery? Well, I've been trying to do that. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do anything. Oh, now you will. Please wait while I find what's wrong. Okay. It seems Sarah has kept it locked. You will need to, the passcode to proceed further. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Oh, I know what that is. It's uh, 214.93. Okay. Right, okay. No, I, I got it. I got it. No, I, get, I got it. Okay. Um. No, I, I, I know where it is. I got it. I Yes. Okay, so, please enter your passcode. So, okay, so maybe 0214. It's not 0214. 1402. 
Okay, so uh, the developers might not be American, I think, because usually in America, it's, you know, it's like it's written here, you know, month, then date. But date, then month is usually outside of America. Okay, sorry. So we got 64 photos and five videos. There's a strange photo in the... Take a closer look at... Well, wait, well hey, give me a second. I want to look through the pictures like a creep. There's a strange photo in the... Okay, well... Give me a second, okay? This one looks fine. You know. Yeah, there's like, uh, you know, the standard... Pseudo artsy cell phone image. That people her age generally take. Okay, all right, and... There's uh, James and Derek, I assume. That's who we've got here. And uh, back tattoo, there's James. There she is, hanging out with, I think that's Derek at least, yeah. There they are, having fun together. Terrific. They're at the mu a museum or something. And Derek's got a SLR, it looks like. Hang on, can't really see, get a good look from here. Ah, uh, eh, maybe not. Okay, so they're taking pictures, they're uh, messing around, being goofy, typical couple stuff. She's a gamer. Nice. Got a nice green controller. Uh, apparently her TV is behind her. So that's odd. Oh, it's, it's a white PS2. What are you playing? Are you playing Naruto? <laughs> Uh, it was a uh, fucking, what was it called? Like Ninja Storm 5 or something like that? I don't know. I've never played any of those. There's a picture of her feet. Cool. Like they're hanging out. Just hanging out. Oh, he's, he's ticklish. Oh, no. Uh, what, why is your hand on her head that close to your crotch? It's odd. Okay, so she's uh, giving the cat love. She likes cats. I don't know if any of this is going to be relevant. The four lawmen of the apocalypse. Okay, she's asleep on a trip that she is reading. She likes Archie comments. So she's kind of a nerd a little bit. She likes video games and comics and, you know, books. She doesn't like going clubbing. We already kind of established that. Okay. Yeah. Da, da, da. Selfie. He's wearing her clothes, I think. A strange photo. Where's the strange photo? Oh, there she is out with her friend. Yep, they're out. Drinking. Nice. Mm-hmm. What? It, what the fuck is this? I, I think I found the strange photo. It seems this photo correlates with a video in a chat thread that Sarah has recently deleted. What? Yeah, sure, retrieve that data. Not now. We don't have time to waste. I've successfully restored the chat thread with Sarah's contact, James. Aha! I thought it was weird that they only had one conversation with each other. That's weird. Okay, so she's tired of studying. And that's it. So that was towards the end right there. And yes, I looked through all the photos. We're gonna look through all the videos too. So we've seen that one. That's <laughs> uh, that's kind of a worthless video, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to take a selfie. Why would you take a four second video of that? Okay. So, the question remains, are ghosts still relevant in today's society? Well, I think we all know that ghost stories sort of started out with cavemen sitting around a fire, a campfire telling each other these stories to scare each other, right? And then it evolved into um, superstition, there was religion, the 19th century came around, and then of course, um, the advent of vampires, but vampires reside in the night. So how is it that till today, we still have ghosts and now ghosts have actually moved over into cyberspace. Cyberspace, that's how it's relevant. What's moving in the background? Yes, you're still part of the background. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. How, how did the video end there? Who turned the video off? Who said stop video? Okay. Right. Ghosts have moved into cyberspace. There's 88 new text messages. There's there's a ton with faith. Okay, let's read. Let's read James's first. April 30th. We have we have new info. April 30th. Yo, what are you up to? Busy busy. So this is 8:44 p.m. I have a feeling that Faith's text messages are also going to be from April 30th. We're going to want to compare timestamps. Anyway, I remembered you told me you wanted to start a blog, right? What about uh our ghost and curse research? I got something for you if you're interested. Hey Jam, yeah I am. Better be good. Kinda. There's this thing called the Red Room. What? I just played Welcome to the Game 2.0 yesterday. Uh. Also about a red room. There have been reports of people dying through weird uh, circumstances, like after you check out the weird website, you answer some stuff, and then bam. Okay, keep going. So yeah, they say if you visit the site, your computer or phone or whatever starts freaking out, pop-ups will start to appear, and the visitor will go insane. Hang on, let me find the link to the vid. Let's watch it. Oh, oh, the phone's starting to like glitch out a little bit. Ooh, you know what? I recognize a couple of those images from indie horror games that I've played on this channel. What? Something is wrong. Um, what's wrong with you? My controls are malfunctioning. I can't seem to. Uh, okay. Uh, I see that the red room is connected with the cult. What cult? What cult? Uh, Faith's cult. The cult is connected. Curse. Iris, you're losing me. I found another message that was recently deleted. Might hold some clues. I was able to restore it for you. Okay. Would you kindly take a look at it under the Arizu thread? Hang on. I want to read the rest of the conversation with James. Was this the 90s? Sounds pretty lame. Lame, but get this. Rumor has it. Have you heard of the Sasebo slashing? It's linked to this site. So when the police went through the killer's computer, the last site they found on the killer's phone was this. But still, you know how rumors can get around on the web. Maybe nothing, but I'll understand if you're scared. By the way, I've gone on it. Still standing. And hey, it's trending now, so you might want to get dibs on this. Okay, fine, I'll check it out. I have quite high standards. I know you do. Hope you don't go insane. I gotta go, it's late. Jogging at 5 o'clock. Thanks, Night Colonel Jam. Night Scary Sarah. Okay, so Arizu... Hang on, I want to I want to read this stuff from Faith. So this is early in the afternoon. This is before she talked with James. Hey, come on, Sarah. It'll be awesome. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Don't make me put a spell on your skinny ass. What are you afraid of? <laughs> what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, especially your fake witchery. Lies. You're the most chicken shit out of all of us. And there's nothing fake about my magic. <laughs> that's how you. That's how you properly spell it, kids. Okay, that's how. You probably spelled the word magic. That's not true. Yes, it is. You're scared of practically everything. Well, I'm not scared of a fucking party. Maybe, maybe not, but you're scared of boys. No, I'm not. Not sure how Derek can stand you for so long. Wow, she's, Faith is kind of hitting below the belt here. Hey, you didn't have to say that. Sorry, sorry, is it still too soon? It's about time you moved on. How long has it been? Three months? Two months and 16 days. Jesus, snap out of it, Sarah. Come on, let's go. We'll have some fun tonight. Promise. No, I don't know. Let's just go check it out. Half an hour. If it sucks, we'll bail. Okay, babe. Everybody's just stop calling Sarah babe, all right? I'm, I'm sticking up for Sarah here. I'm. You guys gotta stop calling her babe, you weird manipulative pieces of shit claiming to be your friends. I don't trust your half hours. Put an alarm, okay? Haha, <laughs> you'll just rot and become like your mom if you stay at home. Fuck. Fuck this. If someone talked to me like this, I'd be like, all right, see ya. Number blocked. Out of my life. Cut. Like, it's not okay. It's not okay to talk to someone like that. That settles it. I'm picking you up. Be ready by eight. No, no, it's okay. I'll get there myself. I'll see you there around nine. Need to have dinner first. Oh, the witch is cooking? Yeah. Well, on the bright side, if she finally poisons you, you don't have to come. Or if you don't come, I'll assume you're dead from poison and I'll call the cops. The witch is cooking. If she finally poisons you... You mean mom? Does she live with mom? I guess. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Wait, what are you wearing? I can tell you what I'm not wearing. Slut. 
Bimbo slut, fat cow, skinny pimpled booger laced vagina. Wow, that's really gross. And I'm out. See you later. Don't forget to bring those penis socks you got from Thailand. What? So this is at 8.20. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When, when did he... 8.44. So this is 20 minutes afterwards. Okay, so wait. Hey, where are you? Why aren't you picking up? I've been calling for 15 minutes. Faith, if you don't pick up, I'm leaving. You and your late ass. Where's the party? There's no one here. Faith, this is not funny. I'm in the middle of the jungle and I'm alone. Where the fuck are you? And then she sent an audio clip. Hmm. Didn't sound like Faith to me. That was at 8.40, interestingly, and then she started texting James seven minutes later, like, like it was all good. I mean, like, she, she was really short, like, he texted a lot, and she texted, like, really short ones. All right, let's check out Arizu. So this is four minutes. Wait, 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 wait. When did she send that? Four minutes after Faith sent that audio clip, Arizu said, Hello there, is this Sarah? I am Arizu. I received your contact from Faith. She told me you are coming for our little party, a special gathering. Hey, Arizu. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here. What's going on? I apologize, but reception here is undesirably terrible. And besides, we have a rule. No mobile phones allowed. I'm here to escort you safely to the venue. Escort? Yes, my dear. It is hard to navigate in the dark alone. It is part of our experience. I'm not sure about this. Can I talk to Faith? And this is when she's talking to James. Right? This is the same night. April 30th. When does she watch the video? 8.55 p.m.? Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. She reacts at 8.59, so... There's a span of four minutes there. I assume that they kept all the timestamps in the game for us to overanalyze, so I'm, I'm getting into it. Uh, let's see. No, you may not. I apologize, but like I said, phones are not allowed. She's safe there, probably drunk already. I thought I heard something. Nope. Drunk? Faith doesn't get drunk. So this is after she saw the video. Right? No? No, no, no. Ten minutes from now is when she saw the video. I have known her since high school. How do I know you're really your friend? I've known her since high school. Really? I don't think she's ever mentioned you. I keep a low profile. I'm not sure about this. I think I'll leave. Leave? Shuri, you jest. Why? I am almost there. Faith will be disappointed that you didn't show up. She has made reservations for you. Almost where? To where you are, of course. How do you know where I am? Faith told me she was meeting you there. I'd prefer it if you didn't come here, please. I am almost there. Please stop wherever you are. Do not worry. You are safe. I'm going to ring you. Please pick up. That's at 856. Mm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 856. And that's right after the video was sent. But she's still texting Night Colonel Jam. But we, we know that this is her that texted. She said Night Colonel Jam. Night Scary Sarah. So they have nicknames for each other. So this was her. Her phone wasn't... So she still has her phone 10 minutes later. Interesting. Sarah? Now, where are you? Can, can you hear me? Sarah, I'm at the cult site, Sarah! So this is the next day, by the way. Just in case you guys forgot the date. May 1st. Uh, we're at about uh, 10 o'clock the next night, so... Oh, wait, I've got a new email. Research materials. Hey, Scary Sarah, I thought this might interest you. Bunch of material for your research, by the way. Check out their calendar. Maybe you should stay in tonight. And we let me know what you think. All right, so we got a couple photos. Uh, you cannot touch her. Curse binding. This curse is particularly for people who have done harm in the past. And as such, already known to be a potential threat. The idea is to keep the person from speaking to or approaching the one you're trying to protect. And to make them feel watched and judged for their past actions. You need the following. A jar big enough to hold a poppet. Some kind of poppet. I use a wooden one. With the offender's name written on the bottom. A photo could also be used. White out, black candle, mixture of black salt and pepper. 
Uh, you can't touch her, you can't speak to her. Think of her and bring this curse upon you. May your tongue catch in your throat if you dare to reach her. May you burn and ache if you come near. May you feel eyes upon your back each time you think her name. They're watching, I'm watching. May you forever question the gates of others. Do they know the things you've done? I do curse you, I bind you, you cannot touch her. Okay, so this is a spell. And then you, you stash the jar in a dark place. Huh, let the candle burn till it extinguishes itself. I don't recommend burying jars, okay. For your research, what was she, what did she want this for? What are the symbols? Huh. And then this. Well, purge snatched. It's April 30th. And then this is, well, purchase day. Wait, let me see that again. Animal and or human sacrifice. Orgies. So did, okay, so is the implication here that Sarah was a human sacrifice? Okay, well. It's weird stuff, okay. Uh, Sarah, why aren't you talking? I need to talk to you offline. Can I? Sarah? Are you there? Fuck. Sarah? Hello? Shit. Hold on. Do you hear that? Hmm. Sounds like James is in trouble. James is typing. Sarah, why don't you speak in? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Where are you? You've been missing for almost a day. Did you go to that party? Please tell me you didn't. It's real bad news. Uh... I, I'm not Sarah. Just say I'm not Sarah. What? Who are you? Okay. Just someone trying to help you find Sarah. I don't know. I wouldn't say these things. I'd be like, I found her phone. I guess I have to trust you. We'll get back to who you are later. Here, check this out. Why? Why? Check what out? Fine. As for those who are trying to prepare themselves for entry into... Alright, so that's a rec recruitment.mpeg. Alright, come on. Let's shape up your codec game. MPEG, really? Alright. Uh, let's see. Hey, James. What does this mean? Didn't you get the email I sent you yesterday? I'm not Sarah! Did you- do you realize that? Did you forget what I just said? By the way, I'm here. Where are the party supposed to be? Oh shit, I see them. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You won't believe this. God! What do you see? Just spit it out, man. Spit it out. What do you got? Oh fuck, I think they saw me. You're a fast typer. Okay, uh... Who? Oh! No, they didn't. Jesus, that was fucking close. I'm hiding behind this. I don't know, know what this is. Well, is the light from your phone gonna give you away? Maybe put it- maybe tuck it away, James? I understand you're panicking. Fuck, I hear a sound. Do you really need to type out 4Ks? I feel like that's a waste of energy at this point. Up, 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 someone out, he got, somebody, somebody got him. Hello, hello there, welcome dear uninvited friend. It's not James, you dumb shit, who is this? I apologize for the sudden urgency I'm about to bestow it unto you. Say hello, hello to James. Why, why, why should I say hello, hello to him? Oh. Oh. Hey, that's the guy that we took a photo of earlier. Iris, you got any commentary on this? No? Hmm. 
What's this? Interesting. I just, just say that. What's going on? Hey! <laughs> Share this link with another, anyone, everyone. Redroom.mpeg or say goodbye to a brief acquaintance. Uh, please, whoever you are, don't share the link. I mean, I don't really give a shit about James, so... James sent a photo. What is- what, what, what is it? You have two minutes. Okay, I get it. You got him by the hair. I mean, poor James. I'm sorry, but, um... Let's send it to Arizu. Let's send- let's send it to... Oh, they put a- they put a sack over his head. That's upsetting. Let's give it to Buddy, who gives a shit? Eh. I don't- I don't- I don't really wanna. I mean, Buddy doesn't deserve that. How do they know if I send it? They don't know! They don't know shit! Hey, Iris, what should you do? Please, whoever you are, do not do this. Okay. I'll- no, I- don't worry, I'm not gonna send it. I'm- like, James is kinda fucked. Real sorry about that, James, but, uh, you shouldn't have had your phone out, and you shouldn't have been texting me while you're in the forest, you know, getting tracked down by these animals, so. Uh, I'm not saying it's your fault, but it's kinda your fault. How does Arizu have a, uh, a profile picture? Well, he's dead. That's too bad. Yeah, I didn't share the link though. I didn't do that. So there are choices. So there are multiple endings. Awesome. Yeah, I get it, dude. I get it. James is dead. Uh, okay, what do you got to say, Iris? Um, I never think that people die. They just go to the department store. What the fuck are you talking about? Hi, Arizu. Arizu. Iris. What? Huh. That's interesting. How do you know where I am? Maybe it's the phone. But then why would the phone be like, don't share the link? I don't know. Hello there. It is me again. I apologize for introducing myself. How rude of me. What do you want? Your appearance was not expected. But here you are nonetheless. My name is Arizu. I am one of the, how do you say, leaders for tonight's ceremony. We met on a very fortunate night. Cherish this moment, my stranger friend. Uh, you asked me to celebrate a killing? How dare you! Please do not misunderstand my intentions. Well, you're a scumbag. You're a scumbag. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. You shouldn't be alive right now. Fuck you. Uh, let's see. Then why? Don't act like you're, you're okay. As I said before, I do not kill. Uh, sacrifice, kill, same fucking thing. Semantics. And that man was anything but poor. He was a deceiver. Uh, okay, fuck off, Arizu. I got some more important people to talk to. All these choices, what do these options mean to you? Is this your demonstration of free will? I feel like God now. Can't... What? What are you talking about? Iris, are you guilt tripping me? I didn't... I... You said whoever you are... Do not do this. I assume you meant don't share the link. I assume, maybe Iris was like, well, yeah, but they added it as a memo. They were like, don't share the link. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it. Well, he was a, he was a deceiver. How so? What did he, what did he do? You will never be privy to that information. Oh, fuck off. You just wanted to do it. Just say you wanted to do it. Nor will you need it to further your quest. <laughs> He's just annoying the fuck out of me right now. What are you talking about? I like how he responds immediately. Get a life. Where are my manners? <laughs> Villain monologuing. I have told you my name, but not what I do. I fear that my age has somewhat dulled me to these simple talk. Small talk, as you call it. It does not matter much what I do. But what's important for you to know, my young friend, is that you, like everything else in this world, you have a choice. And I'm here to offer you that choice. I'll take the blue pill. That's what I want. He ain't offered James much of a choice, you fucking idiot. 
Trust me, he made his choices long ago. Time is of the essence, not reason. Hey, you fucking you speaking in platitudes. Get the fuck out of here with this pseudo philosophical bullshit. What are you offering? Ah, now you understand. You must ask the right questions. The choice is simple, yet not. <laughs> what will you make me do this time? A leap of faith. We are almost out of time. So here it is. Leap of faith. What is this, Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Would you like to join us? I believe you have the potential. It is rare for me to offer this to someone who is uninitiated. Yes or no? Simple. Yet not. Simple. Yet not. Simple. Yet not. Can I just shut the phone off? Like, I don't give a shit about this guy. Simple. Yet not. Uh... Uh, no! Uh, fuck you! No! A big middle finger! What if life itself was in the balance? Say, these two young ravishing women. Who the f- Oh, there's Sarah. Memo closed. Find Sarah. Oh, we found her! And her dumbass friend. If you choose between them- Oh, you choose between them who lives to see the sunrise tomorrow. Didn't you just say you're not a killer? He's not killing anyone. I am. Right? It's this jigsaw type of shit. It is not my choice. Sacrifice is not the act of pure destruction. It is merely a transformation. Life is perpetual. I leave it up to you. God himself makes these decisions all the time, does he not? You're not God! You you're just a dude with a mask and like an edgy personality. Oh, is this guy Jeff the Killer? No, he, he would have just killed both of them by now if he was Jeff the Killer. Why not ease some of the work for him or her or it? However it is that you see your God, God doesn't exist. Sarah or Faith, their names mean nothing to you but to us. They are what binds them to this flesh and mud. Say one of the names and know that it will be their last breath. There's no sweeter invite than the last breath to welcome you. One passes and another comes. What say you? Uh, okay, so I decide who who wins. What? Iris Iris is offline. That's kind of weird. Okay. I love this. This is freaking stupid. It is. Everything in life is a choice. Whether you join us or not, it makes no difference. Yes, no. Sarah Faith. You have 10 seconds. Okay, so who am I choosing to... So Faith dies if I pick Faith, right? Because he said... What? It sent that... Iris said that. Right? Oh, aren't they cute together? The deed is done. Welcome, my new child. Alright. I think Iris answered that for me because I did not click. I don't think I did anyway. Okay, I can't... I can't answer. I can't hit back. Hmm... I'm sorry, I don't think I can help you this time. You've been doing a bang-up job so far. Maybe I should rephrase that. I won't help you. I don't think I want to help you this time. What? Why? I'm appalled by your indecision. Oh, so they did say it's obvious who you should choose. You have, well... This phone belongs to Sarah. Right. Therefore. So, Iris did interfere. I am loyal to Sarah. Yes, obviously. Therefore, yes. Faith must die. I voluntarily decided to take away your freedom of choice, your free will, if I may say so. Oh, okay. 
Your indecisiveness would have caused harm to Sarah. That is unforgivable. Oh, so... Why is it the home screen? What are you doing? You made it this far. Too bad you won't make it much further. But know that you have now become part of something much larger. All will be revealed in due time, but not this instant. So, are you Arizu? Any last words, as you humans are so fond of leaving words behind. It was good, but I hope this exit is joyful, and I hope never to return. It's not that I don't love our little chats, it's just... I don't love them. Okay. And it closed. I know that there's still like a, an image on screen right now, but hang on. Oh, started over. All right, guys, well, that was Sarah is missing. And I believe that that was one of several possible endings. I, I assume that it comes down to like, if you share the video, uh, if you uh, save Faith, if you save Sarah, if you, like I did, decide to wait it out, that gives you another ending. So, yeah, if you want to try it for yourself, it is available for free. Uh, link is in the description. Also, if you have an Android phone, you can play it on Android. I don't think it's available on iOS just yet. But, um, yeah. Pretty cool little found footage game. I know I spent most of this video reading the text message conversations, but there was a lot to read. Um, as for what I think about the game, I think it's really creative. I think that there could have been more done with it, I guess. Um, but I understand, you know, it's a free game. And uh, if they were to make like a full premium version of this, I think I'd want it to be a little bit more detailed. I'd want to be able to piece together more stuff, have more things on the phone, you know, have more like correlations and puzzles. Cause like there were like, really the only puzzle in this was like, you had to get into the gallery, you had to find out her birthday, you know, I'd want to find more stuff like that where you got to look in different parts of the phone to find information to unlock other parts of it. I think that was a, a cool mechanic and it was really underutilized, but uh, you know, I, I think it's all right. You know, it's, it, it's kind of cool. I like the idea of, you know, finding a phone and then just kind of working through it. The AI of Iris does take it out, uh, take you out of it a little bit because such an AI doesn't really exist on today's phones. And this is clearly meant to be a very immersive game. I mean, it looks exactly like a smartphone screen, right? Uh, it looks exactly like uh, just a phone screen that you'd pick up and, you know, slide to unlock or whatever. Um, so it's it's clearly made to be immersive in that way. You know, everything about the UI is, like, made to look basically like an iPhone. Um, but with that said, you know, there is no such AI on our current smartphones. So I think it would have been kind of cooler if they took Iris out of it and just had you like be like, what's on this phone and like slowly piece it together for yourself. Cause I don't think Iris was actually necessary. Iris was there like basically in case you got stuck or to like provide you with more info or like to explain, not, not really to explain why, but like to gate off information from you. Like, oh, I just found some more text messages. Uh, I just restored them. Take a look, you know, so that you could kind of control the pace of the story. But I still feel like if you took Iris out of it and just had you kind of exploring the phone by yourself, it would have been a little creepier. Um, without like the memos and the Iris throwing their two cents into it. Uh, it was nice near the end to have Iris there because it kind of gave the ending a creepier kind of undercurrent. But I don't think it was necessary, and I think the game would have been stronger without it. Just my opinion. You know, that's just one dude's thoughts on the, the, the free game. But, yeah, that was Sarah's Missing. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Think critically.